Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palitska, international nail artist and educator here and today we are going to play with those brightful and colorful designs for the summer. Have a little preview of them here. I really couldn't wait to do those kind of designs as uh, definitely yeah, spring and summertime is my favorite one uh, as it is so nice, bright and colorful. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial as well, so let's start! We are going to play with some unicorn set today. So I've got my tips ready and let's start doing the thumbnail. Okay, so on the thumbnail we are going to use um, 202. It's like a beautiful turquoise color. And uh, we will do the same on the pinky. Okay, so the pinky is matching the thumbnail. Then the next color, which we will use in there, is a yellow, 198. And same in here. And then after yellow, we are going to do orange, 234. And some orange. Then we are going to do some pink. Or actually maybe purple. Let's do purple. So 219. And then pink 200. Okay, after we've got all those colors, I'm going to grab some sponge and I will cut the sponge into half so I can use it for the other tips as well. Some form. Just to remove the fluff, which might be on the sponge. And then let's do it. So I'm just tapping it in to blend the colors. Sprinkle with that. I'll leave it for a second. Do it same on this one. I'm just going to clean the sticking out bits and pieces, clear acrylic powder, and then we can cook it. The clear acrylic powder makes our ombre easier with the sponge technique. Okay, then here I'm going to go pink. 
actually no i will go blue as a first and the blue is 237 Okay, and same on this finger. Mm, we should go orange then. Yellow. I love all these colors like <laughs> okay I've got some other sponge and this is a sponge actually which I could use for the ring finger as well Ideally, it's great if you've got a fresh sponge for every tip, like, so this way um, you can do it with the entire sponge. I'm kind of trying to save the sponges, so I'm using the same one for different colors. So once I'm using one side of the sponge and then I'm using the other side of the sponge, okay. And then for the yellow and turquoise, I can use this one because I've got tur turquoise and yellow. Beautiful. It is fun creating those ombres with the sponges. Okay, and then we are going to do whatever I've got left over on this sponge. That looks cool, actually. <laughs> really cool. Okay, and then sprinkle with the clear acrylic. Like always make sure you keep your sponges on a piece of form or a sellotape just so you don't get those dirty bits and pieces of the dust. Okay, I don't need any more acrylic because we will do everything with two layers, which is awesome like, and that's, uh, that's the reason why I have used the acrylic powder. Okay, what we've got in here. Okay, so we've got the pinky in there and we are going to go with the second layer. keep blending until you're happy that looks absolutely amazing and then give it a cure okay then the thumb
and the thumb looks fantastic too. Mm, blue, where are you? Basically, because my sponge has absorbed some products already in there, I don't have to even apply as much of the gel polish. Okay, the farm is uh, ready completely and we can take a top coat. Apply it in. And then we are going to sugar it. Now that it, we've got a few different types of sugar guys. There is a sugar, I might actually show you. There is a sugar one and sugar two and snow. Okay, so this one is a snow effect and it's just a white glitter, nothing in it. This one is a sugar two and this one is like an orangey and it has acrylic powder in it. And then we've got also a sugar one, like just a sugar, there is no numbers in it. And this one is a multicolor, so it's orange, green, like all sort of different colors in there. And that's the one I'm going to use it. It's back in stock again which I'm glad for. And we are sprinkle it with this sugar. So this sugar on its own, like uh, it is more of a, there is more glitter particles and uh, not as much of the acrylic powder like it is with the sugar chew and a snow effect. And look at this beauty, oh wow, amazing. Just a perfect summer set. Oh wow, I love it. <laughs> Let's cook it. Okay, we are going to sugar this one as well. So top coat. Amazing. Okay, and let them cook. This one is so pretty that I might leave it on its... Uh, I'm going to leave it on its own. It's so nice that uh, we are not going to do anything over it. I will just perfect my ombre. The orange one seems to be the one which is the hardest one to stay on because it's so pastel-y. That's great. Wow, it's pretty. Oh, okay. Searching for the ones which are not finished yet. <laughs> okay, they, this two. So that was the blue.
and then sponge it. So I've got this way, blue on the top. orange that's nice and pretty very pretty There is no better ways, guys, of doing ompe than the sponge and acrylic. It's always turn out perfect. Okay, we have played with all these things. Now let me get rid of those gel polishes here. And then show you what we've got and what we need to do as next thing. So I've got the thumbnail. Uh, really pretty. Uh, when you sugar the nail, you can always like uh, brush it to remove the excess, but I want to show you. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> so we've got this amazing result here. Then pinky is the same. So just remove the excess. And we've got pinky. Oh, I didn't cure it. Okay, I didn't cure it properly, the pinky. Uh, so we are going to reapply the sugar again, only in the place where it was touched. And this is also with the sugar because it's going to hide this imperfection anyway. See, and then cure it. I've got too many tips inside. <laughs> oh wow, they're so pretty. It's like a real unicorn, guys. Absolutely amazing. Okay, this is my middle one. And on the middle one, we are going to play with some unicorn uh, rainbow cat eye. So I'm just applying a layer of those cat eye gel. And then using the magnet, we are going to get a beautiful rainbow design in here. I'm really loving this effect. So amazing. I hope the camera can catch it. Is it catching?
Okay, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> so you can see it depending how we move. It shows us a rainbow. Yes, you can see it in the camera. I'm like, this is always the hardest part to show you guys something in the camera. <laughs> okay, but you can see it nicely. Then on this ones, we are going to uh, apply some uh, top coat and then the same colors which we have used for some horn. So I'm just putting those gel polish there and then using the deliner brush we are going to paint some horn so let's actually I'm going to sugar it so I'm going to top coat it And then give it a cure. Remove the excess of this one. And we've got another one. There was one which was so pretty and I wanted to leave it on its own. I think it is this one actually. Yeah, it is this one. Okay, top coat over it. Top coat over the cat eye. And then we are going to paint the horn. So I'm going to use all sorts of different colors and a drop of the paint on French gel because you don't want to use the gel polishes on its own. Like uh, there is a risk it might they might come off if it's just a gel polish on its own. So a drop of this one. A drop of white. The paint on French gel is okay on its own. I'm also, you can see it, I'm also creating the uh, colors, new colors, like by mixing it. Just so I've got all the rainbow there. That's a nice purple. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do the unicorn horn. So I'm picking up the purple first. Let's get some blue. Of 
orangey. So I'm kind of following the colors which we have created. Okay, more of an orange on its own. Orange yellow. That's so pretty already. Orange. Yellow, drop of the green, yellow, green. I love this horn. So nice and pretty. And I smudged the top. Oh no. That's it. Fix it. Okay, then we've got greenish yellow again. And then green. Those turquoise and ta da! Okay, now I'm going to. Gosh, I've got dilemma. One side of me is screaming, sprinkle it with the sugar. And the other side of me is screaming, like, leave it the way it is, because it's so pretty. And I'm just going to leave it. We've got two sugar nails already. I'm just perfecting it now. Because for a sugar, it doesn't matter really as much. Uh, it is a bit of rough of the surface and it's hide away any imperfections. But if we leave it like this, we wanted it to be nice. Give it a cook. And I'm going to also... No, I like this one the way it is. It's so pretty on its own. Don't overdo it. See, that's my problem. Oh wow, so pretty. Look at those three nails. That's my trouble sometimes. I want to overdo it. <laughs> I bet, guys, you've got it the same. We like something so much and then we overdo it. Okay, then I've got another one. And the last one, which is a ring finger as well. Obviously, you have to remove the inhibition layer from this tip. Um, but I hope, oh, that's cute together. 
a really nice and rainbow set. I hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this uh, tutorial. I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now. Thank you.